how Jennifer did say that when she was explaining everything to Evelyn that as soon as she sent the money that her boyfriend said that it might be a scam how did he know so fast and if he is street smart why didn't he pick up on that this was a scam something just ain't clean in the milk it's your girl Liz with the basketball wise review so on this episode we see Jack L hanging out with her girlfriend then fast forward and we see Jackie talking with her friend Miss Bang Bang Vanessa and Vanessa invites Jackie over for dinner next we see Evelyn talking to her daughter and she's letting her daughter know that she has been hanging out with Jennifer and according to Shiny Jennifer had been saying some things about Evelyn and her daughter that Evelyn was not there and that the daughter was pretty much right in the household and paying the bill I guess Evelyn was too busy or something I don't know and I guess this is when the girl was under age so Evelyn is letting her daughter know you know I've been hanging out with Jennifer and she's like girl how do you feel about that you know you've been knowing her since she was seven years old and the girl said I don't care if I've been knowing her since I was seven years old she still don't appreciate that pretty much she said that she was an absentee mother so Evelyn is torn between her daughter and hanging out with Jennifer who she has known for quite some time she feels guilty for hanging out with Jennifer because she don't know when her daughter might walk through the door well alrighty then so her daughter is not okay with her hanging out with Jennifer but she said you know if you're gonna hang out with Jennifer before I come over you need to sage the house okay next we see Jack L hanging out with Brooke out at the hair shop getting some bundles so Brooke joins her at the hair shop. So apparently look Lee Jack L is gonna be doing Brooke's hair. Lee Jack L is a hairdresser. Lee Jack L has us know that she has her own product line and her own hairline. She does this as far as the hair. She, she's trying to take her brand bigger. So Brooke says she has a charity where she helps people out, I guess, with buying their books for school. And here goes Lee Jack L putting it on thick, talking about girl, I feel like you are the type of person that people need in their life. Well, she might have a point if she buying people's books for college. Brooke says she feels like she has a calling and she was tearing up. Oh my goodness. She said she never asked for this position that she has in life. So it sounds like a tragedy must have happened. And then she decided that this was the cost that she would take up. Poor Brooks. It seems like she was thinking about her daughter that passed away. So Brooke said that she's going to try to help people as much as she can. So Jack L said, well, how can we get you and Brittany back to the point so that you can be that helpful person to Brittany as well? Brooke was like, girl, pump your brakes. She ain't nobody's punching bag. When Brittany threw that drink in her face, that was unwarranted. I don't whiff you on that, girlfriend. Also, she felt like Brittany was drunk as well. And she felt like she needed to calm down. And then they brought up the body shaming where Brittany told Brooke, girl, you need a new plastic surgery. And Brooke was like, girl, you need to find one. You look like a boy. In other words, girl, you need to get some implants just a hard mess so even though these two had words for each other and Brittany done threw that drink in Brooke's face LaCrea still think that she can bring them together as friends well good luck with that next we see Jackie out shopping for some rocks and she wants to know if the people have any rocks for peace and he says yes girl that's the amethyst that's the purple stone right after that in walks Brittany Renner so apparently they are meeting at the rock shop and she must be going to get Brittany to get a rock for peace because lord knows she needs it so Jackie says that she meant her people and she feels like she can help Brittany especially after she done threw that drink on Brooke so Jackie bought Brittany a stone then they took a seat at a table to talk it out Brittany said that there is something so warm about Jackie that makes her feel comfortable and say what you better enjoy while you can girl so Brittany said girl when I took you out to the skating ring I noticed that you was the only OG that went out there to the skating ring was out there skating and that Jackie don't pick eyes so is that your issue with the other two or with Brooke anyway that she was not out there skating so Jackie said that she's not gonna judge you because you never know what a person is going through so Brittany explains to her that she's in a child support company custody battle that has been going on for two years now she's had to pay at least fifty thousand dollars in attorney fees oh my goodness so jackie said Brittany explaining to her what she's going through she can understand pretty much why she acted the way that she did with brooke oh really now just because she's going through some things she should be throwing drinks in people's faces i don't know about that so jackie's gonna try to get the group together and see if they can move forward i can't wait to see this so Brittany says she's very open-minded kind of sort of i'm not convinced because as soon as she get a chance to throw something at brooke again i have a feeling she's gonna do it don't trust her brooke that Brittany said that she's just gonna take a look at the energy and if the energy is not there she's gonna respect her space but what if you be drunk girl you still gonna respect her space because Brooke said she felt like you had a little bit too much to drink now we see Evelyn once again she had invited Jennifer to come over Evelyn said she got five dogs that seems like a little bit much and when she go to answer the door it seems like all the dogs come to the door with her so Jennifer and her boyfriend have been looking for a dog we seen them at the last episode they went to the puppy shop but apparently they found a dog online and they sent the people the money and it was all a scam not Jennifer getting scammed again she done already had somebody steal a car from her so she sent the people 750 dollars and never got the dog shouldn't you have exchanged a dog at the same time you exchanged the money i'm just saying so jennifer was explaining now that she thinks about it she never even really spoke to the people before she sent them her 750 dollars all the communication was via email girl 
Oh, you should have known something was funny about that. Evelyn says she feels bad for Jennifer, but she is a magnet for getting scammed. You think? Evelyn was like, there's something about Jennifer. She just doesn't have the street smarts like that. You ain't never lied. Sending somebody $750 and only and never even talked to him on the phone. That is definitely not a street smart person. And next we see Brittany hanging out with her friends. Bang, bang, Miss Vanessa. And the Hydra Jack and Ray playing some basketball. And also Brittany friend arrived. The one that got into it with Jennifer at the restaurant. Miss Clayana. So Vanessa let everybody know that Evelyn is no longer engaged. She couldn't wait to let everybody know that. Of course, she and Evelyn do not get along. So Clayana explained the situation that had went down between she and Jennifer at the restaurant. She was not trying to kid shame Jennifer when she asked Jennifer if she had any children. She was just upset with Jennifer for asking her what her relevance was as far as to the group. She was like, Jennifer should not be questioning her relevance. So this is the reason that she went in on Jennifer. This is her story and she is sticking to it. She said the reason that she came for Jennifer is because Jennifer have no elevation in her life. Say what now? And what elevation do you have, girl? Hey, Jack, I just said, girl, I'm trying to talk. Stop interrupting me. Like, Clayana wanted to get her side of the story out there and she didn't want no questions to be asked. And look, Jack, like, hold up, wait a minute. So, Clayana was like, when she got up and walked away, do you feel that you could have just let it go? Clayana was like, heck, like, heck to the now, to the now, 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 because she was still talking mess. And so, Miss Bang Bang, Vanessa said, girl, do you think that you owe Jennifer an apology? And once again, Clayana said, no. Even though she pushed Jennifer at the end, when she could have walked around Jennifer, she was like, she does not owe Jennifer no apology. Well, alrighty then. So, Lady Jack proceeded to ask Brittany about what happened between her and Brooke when she threw that drink in Brooke's face. So, they were talking about the situation and it seemed like they could not come to an agreement. So, I have a, so I have a feeling that when these two get together again, when Brooke see Brittany, it is going to be on site. So, Brittany girl, you better be ready. Next, we see Miss Vanessa, Miss Bang Bang working out the gym because this is what she does if nothing else she stays fit looks like she invited jackie and brooke over and jackie takes a quick drink of cognac she has to drink her brown liquor before she starts her workout is that what now so vanessa spelled the bottle that she was drinking out of and jackie was drinking some hennessy it was a hot mess drinking before a workout wait a minute so evelyn in the mix meeting up with bang bang so evelyn was explaining to jacqueline and vanessa how jennifer had paid 750 dollars for the dog and never did get the dog and jacqueline agreed that jennifer is a magnet for a scam and then Jacqueline said, hold up, wait a minute. Who was it that paid for the dog? Now, they are thinking that their new boyfriend might have had something to do with the scam. Sure. Now, Jennifer did say that when she was explaining everything to Evelyn, that as soon as she sent the money, that her boyfriend said that it might be a scam. How did he know so fast? And if he is street smart, why didn't he pick up on that this was a scam? Something just ain't clean in the milk. Next, we see Vanessa and Jacqueline having a couple's date with their husband. These might be the only two on the show that are actually married to a man that plays basketball or did play basketball that are still together after all of these years. Well, at least Jackie anyway. Vanessa's husband lives in a whole different state. We see Jackie and Vanessa in the kitchen trying to cook a meal for their husband and it looks like they don't know what the heck they're doing they supposed to have the food done already so doug and isaiah said they're gonna need to call out and get some food they hungry and then vanessa let jackie know that she done made a file about jennifer in a puppy situation so who knew she was a private investigator so she done investigated a boyfriend what you come up with girl so vanessa went into her confession and talking about she missed her call and talking about she really should have been a cia agent you might have a point you did say you check your husband's ball and you surveil him on the security cameras okay but she say she started getting arrested too early at about 17 and 18 girl you a criminal so according to vanessa jennifer's new man did 10 years in prison say what she also found out that the man got a 13 year old so so a child that he did not tell them about also she said the man changed his name she said she gonna send jackie all the information jackie said uh uh my name is bennett and i ain't in it she don't want jennifer man to go off on her jennifer either for that matter then they brought the food out and it didn't look like it was really done and the husband was looking like what the heck is this so doug is like he ain't eating that raw food at the potatoes is raw he know the other stuff ain't right y'all can't even cook potatoes next we see evelyn and brooke out and about together two ogs so evelyn getting ready to go back out of town once again we need her to be here for the gathering so that we can see the drama and then in walks jackie so it's the meetup of three ogs so jackie decided that they all need to get together and have a cooking class because lord knows they need it so brooke says she can't attend but evelyn says she's gonna be out of town why is evelyn always out of town when all the good drama come in they needs to dock her pay so she is not gonna be there for a backup for brooke a hot mess this is not gonna be a good match 
job. We need a wing person for Kayana. We know that Brittany and Brooke are going to get into it. So since Kayana is coming, Jennifer decided that she's not coming. So this is going to be a hot mess. Brooke is going to have minimum backup. So Jackie said that she likes scent, just smelling scent. And Evelyn said that Jennifer's new man likes smelling scent. The booty scent. Say what now? So Jackie said that Jennifer's man is a sweetheart, but she do have a few concerns about him and so does Vanessa. And she lets Evelyn and Brooke know that Vanessa is investigating the man. And that's all Evelyn needs to hear because we all know that Evelyn and Vanessa, they do not really get along like that. So Evelyn feels like Vanessa needs to stay out of it because Jennifer is grown. Even if the man is a scammer, Jennifer is grown. And Jackie said, we're not going to say anything to Jennifer about this though. Brooke was like, say what now? She couldn't agree to that. So Brooke was like, why is Vanessa in everybody's business? She was in Evelyn's business. Now she's in Jen's business. So Brooke thinks that Jennifer is going to tell her behind up for being all up in her business. The truth is, Jennifer should be happy because she really knows how to pick her. She was dating Timothy from Sweetie Pies and now he is locked up. She was dating a man that scammed her out of a car. Now, according to Vanessa, this man might be a scammer. So even though she is grown, apparently she needs some help. So next, we see the ladies meet up at Jacqueline's event. A cooking event for the ladies to learn how to cook. And she lets Vanessa know that she had told... Evelyn and Brooke because she had been investigating Jennifer's man and Vanessa said she want to have a sit down and talk with Jennifer about it okay so the ladies start arriving at the cooking event it was Jacqueline and three of the newbies Loki, Jackie, Krayana and Vanessa so Loki, Jackie, is she gonna keep her distance from Krayana she feels like Krayana came for her at the park then arrives Brooke and she speaks to everyone except for Krayana girl you shouldn't be surprised about that though but nonetheless she acting like she's surprised and then her in her confession of Krayana talking about okay blow face beach I see how you feel talk about an attitude so everybody that was there that was planning to attend jennifer said she is not gonna attend if Kleana comes and evelyn is out of town she wanted to take a vote because britney seems like she was running late should we wait for britney or should we just go ahead and proceed but when she got there brooke brooke said who like who the heck is you talking about just being shady can't blame her though so brooke was like here we go again with this britney conversation britney 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 leave her out of the conversation when you're talking about britney no woman up threw a whole drink in her face so until she apologized don't even bring up that name to her so just a few minutes later Brittany did arrive so already Brittany is upset when she came in because Clay Anna done already takes her mess to talk about Brooke was talking ish about her and when Brittany walked into the door she saw that Brooke and Jocelyn was getting along with each other and she did not like that they was kiki just a hot mess she don't want other people to be getting along with Brooke so they was doing some serious cooking and having a good time looks like they was cooking some salmon and so while they was cooking up the food Jackie done invited everybody on a girl's trip we can't wait to see it because this is where all the drama goes down when y'all can't get away from each other there's no escaping then they showed a backflash of jackie when she took him on a girl's trip on another season they was in the backwoods and some trailers in the wilderness looking crazy so brooke was like don't y'all get excited because i done been on one of her girls trips so she gotta take everybody to scottsdale arizona so they finally finished cooking their meal and they are ready to eat and they sat down and brooke says a prayer to bless the food a very lovely prayer so she prayed over everybody's food she didn't single anyone out or nothing like that here come Brittany looking up like a crazy person talking about she blessed the food and she don't want any of that energy you don't want blessed food energy girl oh so she said she didn't buy her hair for the blessing because she don't want that energy on her food okay so everybody leave the restaurant with their recipes in hand except for Brittany and her sidekick Kleana so they stay back and talk so now they decide that Jocelle is also an enemy they okay with the group being divided so it's just them two against everybody in their heads of course so Brittany is gonna make a name for herself one way or other so it looks like she's deciding to go against the grain and girl they're gonna play all of this back at the reunion so we're gonna get to see who said what and from the playbacks it looks like you was the one who started the ish before you threw that drink on Brooke she also doesn't feel like Jackie was unbiased when they was doing that cooking or you seeing something that everybody else just does not see you just digging a hole for yourself all right so in the next episode looks like they're gonna be on a girl's trip and we know that it's all gonna go down can't wait to see it so it looks like Brittany is causing tension just so that she can stand out but it does cause controversy as well and it will probably help out with the rating so bring it on Brittany I hope that it doesn't all backfire in your face so anyway this is what went down on this episode of basketball wise these are just my thoughts and opinions so everything is of course alleged alle allegedly what did you think about the episode make sure you leave a comment below and as always busy bodies thank you so very much for stopping by my page don't forget to like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel it's your girl liz keeping up with the biz and i am out